Hello everyone and good afternoon. Welcome to Moja for Industry presents National Safety Week special digital dialogue on how to make manufacturing facilities safe sponsored by Seamercell India a leading provider of machine safety solutions and services. So let's welcome Mr. Muthu Sekar, Chief Operating Officer at Hellstone Innovations and Additional Director on board at Revti Equipment Limited. Welcome Muthu sir. Then we have Mr. Prashant Chaturvedi with the Joint Director Sales and Marketing at Maser Cutting Systems India. Welcome Mr. Prashant. Then Mr. Anand Chandradas with the plant head at RHB Transmission India's Lucknow plant. And of course we have Mr. Giris Alved, Deputy General Manager for Technicum at Simercell India. To take the session forward, I'll invite Mr. Muthu Sekar, Chief Operating Officer at Hillstone Innovations. He will talk on the importance of workplace safety in manufacturing facilities while highlighting the potential risk and hazards present in such environments. Safety starts with I and you. What is this I and you? I is individual and you is universal. The workplace safety in a manufacturing facility is achievable only when we know the potential hazards and the history of the accidents. So that will help us to identify the hazards, hazardous places, the behaviors and activities. Those activities can be rectified by training programs or you know, some guarding mechanisms uh, or you know, clearing the pathways. Unfortunately, housekeeping is the place where you know, if something has gone wrong in terms of a wiring or in terms of uh, you know, some leakage or something like that, you know, that's the place where they get noticed and it has to be brought and probably, you know, that's where we have to award and we have to bring in a culture that housekeeping brings notice of such incidents, which will help to avoid the hazards. No compromises on safety gears. So what we mean by safety gears, it is the safety shoes, the safety dresses or the safety goggles when we use for the welding or the plasma cutting, etc. So the safety gears cannot have any compromise. Of course, even when we have the visitors, uh, probably in many of the European companies or when we visit in uh, many other countries, the first thing they say is where is the exit available, how we have to reach the exit and wh where is the assembly points. So these are all you know, the kind of practices you have to even ensure that your visitor also follows it. And uh, proper installation and guarding mechanisms. What is proper installation and guarding mechanisms is, you know, if machine uh, is uh, working under red hot or if there is going to be, you know, some kind of a splash which is going to take place. So those areas has to be guarded and, you know, covered or there should be a mark available saying that this is a slightly a protected area and the pathway only have to be maintained. And proper illumination. Uh, if you look at our factory, the Hailstone factory where I am sitting right now, it's completely natural lighting illuminated. And uh, continuous training, I think this is one of the areas which is very, very important in terms of, you know, I told safety is not just to be celebrated a week, it is a continuous exercise. And uh, the reading manuals is very important. And today, if you look at that fatigue management software solutions are available. So a lot of tools are available today, which is, you know, talking about a real time monitoring systems. Right. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Muthasekar, sir, for setting the tone of the session. Delegates, our next speaker is Mr. Giris Alave, who is the Deputy General Manager for Technicum at Simercell India. We will talk on the actions to be taken to make any manufacturing plant safe. Now, when we start about machine safety in our plant, or when we start about machine safety in our manufacturing facilities, normally we start with the machine inside the plant. But actually, the machine safety starts when your machine is getting manufactured at your machine supplier's end. Because when you have the machine inside your manufacturing facility, some or many of the changes you cannot do, which your machine manufacturer can easily do if you ask for them in advance during the design phase. If not in design stage, in your actual machine, which is in your plant, then your project development, it's an engineering part wherein you can identify what are the best possible risk reduction techniques. So these risk reduction techniques to be applied to mitigate the risk, then implement these risk reduction techniques. Most of the times we use uh, advanced systems 
but unfortunately our operators are not well trained and the documents related to these systems are not available and then operator faces lot of issues to run the production documentation and training of these uh, safety projects is important the last step is validation most of the times we do everything we implement the guard we mitigate the risk but at the end we never check that the implemented control measure are causing any more hazards are causing any more risks if so they also need to be mitigated important point in this particular session is identifying what level of safety we really require so when we talk about identification it depends on the three values one is the severity of injury second is frequency and exposure time how frequently you are getting exposed to that risk and third is the possibility of avoiding that particular hazard is there any possibility by which you can avoid that hazard so one of the common uh, mistakes we do we implement machine safety but the all the safety circuits we normally connect to our normal automation circuits so if you have a light curtain if you have an emergency stop they must be connected to a safety controller and your this safety controller or your this safety control system should directly monitor your motor should directly monitor your robo so this is something which is normally missing and it can be improved in a very simple way by changing the wirings so this is a uh, called as a machinery safety heart thank you so much thanks a lot so but thank you mr giris for explaining the actions to be taken to make any manufacturing plant safe now we will invite mr prasan chaturvedi who is the joint director for sales and marketing at mesar cutting systems india so he is going to stress the stress the importance of comprehensive safety training for all employees as rightly pointed out by mr muthusekar and mr giris welcome mr prasan so you know from there i i that like people say that safety begins at home i definitely endorse that that and safety is a complete mindset at times you know i have visited so many plants more than 7 800 plants across india and uh, frankly telling i go i not name it but i go to north india or something like that you all know that they drive big cars they like bmw they like audis and you visit the plant and you go inside up to the reception and up to the office you have beautiful plant and as soon as you enter the work space area then you have all the contract laborers and the laborers have don't have the safety shoes they don't have the you know the safety hearing aids and all that and many times uh, you know when i have been training the customer says are you tumhara know, flashback cluster bahut mehanga hai wala sir aapki gaadi bhi kahan sasti hai it is not it's just a 2000 rupees device and then imagine that it's not a consumable and everything so what i feel uh, gentlemen all my fellow uh, participants that Uh, i definitely mean that uh, you know investment has a constraint but safety is something which should be the first point of investment in an organization because it is not only that we are doing some social service but it is directly also affecting the profit and working culture everything of the organization itself so when we are using uh, let us say a cutting uh, process a very simple gas cutting process you know there are cylinders these gas cylinders are potential safety hazards you can see on our youtube channel now these uh, cylinders are so important they have colors they have their safety precaution they have their storage rules there should be a gap between a storage of a fuel gas and oxygen then you go around after this uh, you know the, there is a method to handle them if this gas cylinder that is there in your plant for the industrial gas if it is fall if it falls <clears throat> and the knob on the top breaks then this can become a projectile it can damage may various such incidences have occurred then you see the hoses around you see the uh, you know the hoses that can they have their own standard they cannot be used more than 2 years of their life span means from the date of manufacturing there are color codings like red color is for uh, acetylene orange color is for if you are using lpg or bmcg in your plant blue color or a green color if you are using oxygen but then there are life spans of this we will never follow that 
If you just bend a little hose and see if there is a first cut mark, a micro cut appearing, it is necessary that you need to change these hoses itself. Let us not compromise on, you know, the, some cheap Chinese import or a very cheap manufacturer. We have to see welding. You know, welding is a very common topic. In welding itself, the safety aprons and everything, the goggles are so very important that the overall operator safety is taken care. What I suppose is what we have implemented in, uh, you know, for our own safety as well, that we should have safety trainings and safety awareness incorporated in KPI, the key performance indicators of each and every individual. So uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Prasad, for uh, discussing on the necessity of providing comprehensive safety training to all employees, noting down some of the safety related negligence we face in our day to day life at home as well as in soft load. So now I will invite Mr. Anand Chandra Das, who is the plant head at RSB Transmissions in RSB Transmission India's Lucknow plant. So he will share his presentation on various types of safety equipment and technology available at his plant. Welcome, Mr. Anand. I would like to present the best practices in the RSB Transmission India Limited. <coughs> RSB Transmission India Limited is a group of companies and uh, it is basically in the automotive and in the CMI vertical. And uh, we are practicing some of the uh, safety practices like uh, we are auditing uh, the Gemba audit or the safety audit in the uh, soft floor. And uh, every month it is practicing. And uh, and some of the, some of the visuals uh, uh, like uh, some of the good practices that has been displayed in the soft floors all, all over the soft floors. That is our uh, uh, practice so that the uh, operators and the basically the uh, operators and associates that they are there uh, they have to be visuals they they can see the visuals and uh, they should uh, do the good practices and the all the safety policies has been displayed all over the uh, soft flows and one of the good practices that PPEs PPEs management is very good in our company uh, like we have provided the PPEs in all stations and what are the uh, PPEs to be used uh, in uh, each station and uh, uh, workstation that has been displayed. So what are the uh, means the critical PPE like uh, gloves and uh, helmets that has been uh, compulsory in some of the machines. So that has been displayed in the soft floor and some of the reportable incidents uh, uh, that is within the 24 hours or up to uh, more than 24 hours that report, reportable incidents and accidents that has been also recorded and uh, displayed in the soft floors that uh, uh, that we are uh, doing since last uh, uh, 10 years so last four years we don't have any accidents uh, uh, in our company and the employee uh, rewards and recognition that are also uh, we are provided we are providing timely uh, timely in the each uh, uh, if any good practices have been done by the employee and that is uh, reward and recognition is provided. In the soft floor, you can see the housekeeping also is, is doing that uh, soft floor housekeeping very nicely so that all, any oil and any contamination is not there, any uh, leakage or some uh, any uh, water leakage that uh, accident uh, that is a cause for the accident. So that has uh, that is uh, monitoring and uh, that uh, that focus is provided in the soft floor. Then the human safety and the human act, uh, safety, uh, safety initiatives. We are providing the uh, safety protocols to the, for the visitors and guests uh, in the uh, entrance of the company. And the uh, case for the cylinder uh, that has been provided for the CO2 cylinder. And uh, some of the trolley, some of the uh, baskets are like wooden baskets has been replaced by the uh, steel, uh, steel beans. And some of the packaging, some of the packaging like uh, packaging material uh, we have... Uh, using like papers uh, and instead of the plastic materials. And uh, for the uh, blind turn and the forklift movement also we have provided the sensors in the walls and the reflectors in the walls so that you can see that uh, it, if uh, there is a movement uh, in the blind turn, then the buzzer also, it will, uh, buzzer is there for the movement. So uh, thank you, Mr. Anand, for discussing on the best safety practices followed at uh, RSB Transmissions Love No Plan. So at the heart of today's discussion was a simple yet profound truth. Safety is everyone's responsibility. So 
As we celebrate the National Safety Week today, let's keep in mind the primary goal to create safer, healthier, and more resilient manufacturing environments for all. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Moja for Industry Presents Safety Week Special Digital Dialogue on how to make manufacturing facilities safe. Sponsored by Simercell India, a leading provider of machine safety solutions and services. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us so you never miss any of the latest industrial news from around the country and the world. Stay connected with us and keep watching Mojo for Industry for all the latest updates.